Hi guys, I'm MC for Truth. Now, do you remember our old friend uh, Gareth Barrett, um, Patrick Kennedy, King Arthur Pendragon? Uh, yeah, that guy. Before that, he was Agent 42. He was uh, Greg Hallett's bodyguard and intelligence service agency. <laughs> so yeah, that guy, you know, the guy that I went undercover to expose and he made up a bunch of lies about me and yeah, ended up getting jailed for fraud. So yeah, it turns out that now I know why he was jailed. I mean, I knew he was jailed for fraud. I didn't know how long for. I didn't know exactly what charges uh, were brought against him and what 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 fraud, you know, because there was so much fraud from this guy, so much fraud that I'd uncovered that I didn't know exactly what, what fraud had put him in jail. Um, and I did wonder whether it was anything to do, but, you know, I was never contacted, anything to do with um, some of, the, you know, what had been going on with me and what had been going on with this whole king fraud uh, amongst all the other things that um i'd uncovered that i'd uncovered with justice etc so guys um without further ado let, let's get into the video Okay, so let me just give a quick recap for those who don't know or those that just want their, their memory jogging. Gareth Barrett. <laughs> this guy is, I mean, it's crazy, but people have believed that the, the stories, the fairy tales that he's spun, um, but I suppose in the realms that we look into, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's not he's not that crazy, um, but, you know, this guy's pretty crazy. Um, he... Back when I was uh, exposing this, the fake King thing with uh, Greg Halleck, King John the Third, that Charlie Ward, etc., promoted back in 2020, Gareth Barrett was an avid fan of Greg Halleck and was claiming that he was the bodyguard and intelligence service for for Greg Halleck, which kind of was true. Greg had him at events to bodyguard, um, you know, he, you know these these events that he was at. Oh my, did he? No way. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Now this is where this is where the story wow. turns interesting. I think that he's managed to blag his way in, basically. And also, I've seen this picture before, but to know that this Mr. Kingsman is that guy from 9th of July, this is a while ago, you know. I first heard about him around this time, so around July time. Um, later on, Greg Hallett was totally exposed, disappeared. Uh, that story fizzled out. And then he went on to start his own narrative of him being the rightful king. Not only that, that he was the son of JFK. He was claiming that he was Patrick Kennedy. And um, there was discrepancies in that because obviously Gar uh, Patrick Kennedy would have been at least, what, 17 years older than, than we knew that Gareth uh, actually was. So Gareth knew me from investigating, exposing him, previous lies, etc., from 2020. So, you know, um, 2021, when I see that he was saying that he was king and put out lots of videos around that and, and documents, etc. He was putting out fake documents, fraudulent documents, etc. Um, when, when I saw this was going on, um, I, you know, I investigated it and then I thought, right, I want to get him on the show. I want to catch him out in the lie. So I went undercover to expose him, which I did successfully. I went on as Ron Jeremy, wore a wig, uh, you know, shaved this part of my beard and, and put on an American accent, made a fake channel. The works. And it, it went well. And and he you know believed it. It got to a point where, you know, there was an exposed moment. And I, you know, at a moment where I revealed myself, took off the wig and started going into the lies around this. Okay, the mic's hot in five, six, seven, eight. Hello, Patriots. This is Patriot One TV, and welcome to the show. I am absolutely delighted to be here with Patrick Kennedy, who says he is the real king of England. Get that? You um, didn't die no. in 1963 when no. you were born. Um, but you were smuggled to England and your father died two months after you were born in 1963. 
And then in 1981, you yeah. were born again somehow. I don't understand that because if you're Patrick Kennedy, you would have been born in 1963, which would make you 57 or 58 right now. But you've claimed yeah. you're 40 years old. Yes, I am 40 years old. Can you explain this to me? Yes, I am Patrick Kennedy. Um, what about the, the, the difference in years? I mean, you'd be 58. Yeah. Are you 58? Not yet. How old are you? I am 40. The story and the inconsistencies, it kind of got a bit murky there. You know, it kind of got a bit difficult for you to explain. Yeah, I know. Mmm. It's so hot in here. It's so hot. Um, do you mind if I do you mind if I take my wig off? Yeah. Yeah, I, it, it's too hot with the wig. I'm sure you know that, right? You you wear wigs too? <laughs> I, no. You don't. Oh, that's crazy, man. So, can you explain this? No, don't know that one. You don't know that one. This is this is Gareth Barrett. I don't know who he is even. You've never met Gareth Barrett? No. Got to the bottom of that and he was exposed in that video, in that interview, and he knew it. And at the end I said, Look, you gotta stop lying to people and he just he would not admit that he had lied. He kept saying, I don't know who this Gareth Barrett is. Um I'm Kennedy, Patrick Kennedy, I can prove it with my bank card, which he showed. But I mean, I'm talking about all the people that are affected by this. <sighs> Gareth, please stop. I'm not Gareth. Patrick, please stop. Um, please think of others. Do what's in their best interest. You're not the true king. It makes no sense. Oh, I'm I'm the son of John John of Kennedy, and so therefore I'm the rightful bloodline of England. No, that, it doesn't make sense. And it, it, it's completely disconnected. And if and if if you're saying, oh, it's not, it's, it's just it's not uh, connected, but I just so happen to be, then that's a pretty weird coincidence. You happen to be John of K's, JFK's son, and the rightful king of England. Do you not see that? Yeah, I know, but it's true. I think that's all I'm going to get out of you. I think that the viewers or patriots know that out there. Um, you know, I, I wish you a good life, but just just please stop hurting people. After this um, expose a interview where I exposed him, I, can't, I suppose live in interview, he then put out a video the next day and said, look, I have something to tell all my followers. I had to use a fake identity. Um, and that was Gareth Barrett, but I'm not Gareth Barrett, I'm Patrick Kennedy. Good morning, my people. This is King Arthur Pendragon. I'm just bringing a message to you all and to making you aware of many things, including, I will tell you a little bit about myself. Myself, I had to use a cover name for when I was undercover. That was Gareth Barrett. But I am not Gareth Barrett. I am Patrick Kennedy. Um, which is bullshit. You know, he was he, uh, like some of his family contacted me. You know, he's Gareth Barrett. He may have changed his name by Depot to Patrick Kennedy, perhaps. But I don't believe he has. And I'll explain why in a little while. Anyway, he said, look, the, um, these fake organizations, these people that think they know about me, they've uh, if they're going to put out their information or their videos then let them know that it'd be high treason. And, you know, what that carries, that carries the gallows. You know, he was saying I was going to get hung for reporting on this. These people, these corrupted, fake media companies, think they can bring me down because they get paid by the cabal to bring me down. But it's not going to happen because I'm not going to step down for nobody. I took the oath as a king with the people to stand for the people and to fight for the people. And that's what I'm going to do. Nobody is going to bring me down. And I don't care who they are. 
I have reset the laws to common law and the constitutional law, and it's going to stay. We have committed a promise to the people, and my promise is to keep my people safe because I love them all. And that is what I'm going to do. I am not having no corrupted, fake organisations like these media online organisations thinking they could bring me down by little research, listening to somebody's word of mouth about somebody who, who they don't even know. Somebody thought they can get to know me when I was with Gregory Hallett, but they didn't know me. They don't know nothing about me. So they could post these fake little lies out about me. But I will tell you this, and I will tell you this now. If they do it, they will be committing treason against the king. And also, high treason carries the gallows. So maybe they should think about that first before they post this letter out or post this even video out or what they want to do with me. Because Donald Trump has always said to me that people will try and bring me down when I come out. And it's true. The people don't believe who I am. That's true. But they are going to believe who I am because I'm going to show them who I am. I am the king who they've always wanted back. And I am King Arthur, Pendragon. So I went ahead, of course, reported on it anyway. And then his next tactic was to send um, uh, these fake documents from international common law courts, apparently, um, that he'd made himself, saying that um, M Seeker must take down, it was a threat, must take down all content that... Um, it's about Gareth Barra. It's about um, me. He said in in, in, in a document. So it's obviously he'd he'd written it. I mean, this guy is a bit he's, he's a bit dumb. Anyway, so I didn't listen to that either. And then once the video had come out and he was fully exposed, he then started making up some horrific stuff, uh, putting out that um, it's been uncovered that I was uh, wanted in America for sex trafficking, child trafficking crimes, in fact. I mean, it was sick. Charlie Ward even picked it up and reported on it and started sh saying in a bunch of his shows, oh, it turns out that M Seeker was a paedophile. Absolute C-U-N-T. Um, for those people um, that, uh, just a little bit of fun, for those people um, who saw when I got trolled by M Seeker, um, and then he dragged my son and Matthew Harding and Well, it turns out he's a paedophile. However, you know, people realised that, um, you know, and I made videos and exposed that Charlie had taken that the information, which he so wanted to be true, um, and he, he'd run with it. And as he does, you know, he, he loves putting out fake information. It's not that he loves putting out fake information necessarily, per se, he, he loves taking information from random sources uh, and making it intel yeah anyway wasn't true so what happened soon after this well <laughs> gareth barrett got arrested and um he got arrested for fraud we knew that much uh, we even spoke to uh his closest follower um who was absolutely brainwashed by gareth and managed to convince her that we were working for the Kennedy's agency, whatever. And we needed to bust Gareth out of jail. We need all the information. Patrick Kennedy, or real name Gareth Barrett, has been arrested and jailed for fraud. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I could have thought that would probably happen, especially since uh, watching him fabricate all these documents, all these fake court documents, especially ones uh, around myself uh, saying some awful things about me. So... Um, yeah, he's been arrested uh, for fraud. And there's a Twitter account called Camelot, uh, who is his most avid follower, who was putting out some of the sick stuff about me, saying that I owned uh, this website called Fandom that had you know, imagery in it that was that was connected to um, child abuse or human trafficking or whatever. Um, she she put out these these horrible posts uh, around me saying uh, with the the fake court documents that Gareth Barrett had fabricated, saying that I was wanted 
um, or I'd been tried and convicted for child abuse charges and listed all those crazy names. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, I, I listed all of that in um, my recent video. Charlie Ward and Gareth Barrett uh, put out lies about me or are in legal hot water and that they tried to discredit me um, for exposing them. And she said, we managed to get from her a clip of him being arrested in his own home, which was hilarious. And again, we reported on that. You just punched me in the face. I'm dealing with this. Okay. 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 And the one who's got the taser just threatened to taser me. Yeah, did you? Right, it's on my camera. <laughs> yeah. If you can work yourself out then, can you? Could you let go of me? No. So he went to jail for fraud. We knew this. We didn't know exactly why. Now um, we have the information and uh, let me share that with you now. <laughs> okay, here we are. Bristol Live um, is the you know, bristolpost.co.uk. Um I knew that Brit um, Gareth Barrett um, was living in Bristol uh, before he started all the King stuff. And um, I, I believe that he moved up north. However, um, I mean, let, let's read on uh, this article. Maybe we'll, we'll find out whether he'd moved back, whether it's just because of it, where he's from, that it was in that because he was from Bristol, um, or whether, you know, that was a lie that he'd moved away. Fraudster stole identity of former ar army officer and joined the scouts. <laughs> what a headline. Fraudster stole the identity of former army, of army officer and joined the scout. That is ridiculous. Gareth Barrett <laughs> acquired personal information to make false insurance statement, apply for a Barclays bank account, register at a medical centre, and even join the Scouting Association. <laughs> and, um, look at, he looks so unhappy there. Um, is that an arrest photo? Is that... Um, he's in a different top, I swear, from when, when he was arrested. I don't know if that's just a normal generic photo from stock. He doesn't look a happy chappy. Look at look at that noggin. Anyway, look, Gareth Barrett. And this is the thing, you know, if he changed his name to Patrick Kennedy, they would detail him as Patrick Kennedy here. Um, but no, it's this is Gareth Barrett, our old friend. Uh, Backwell man. I think Backwell must be an area in Bristol. Gareth Barrett stole the identity of a former army officer with the same name as him to commit fraud. And it proved a deeply disturbing ordeal for his victim, a court heard. You know, I have to wonder, yeah, maybe, you know, he's from Bristol, moved up north to get away from them closing in on his fraud. Barrett, 40. <laughs> Are you 57 years old? No, I'm 40, he says in an interview with him. You'd be 58? Yeah. Are you 58? Not yet. How old are you? I am 40. How does this story work? Of Moorfield Road pleaded guilty to five charges of fraud, as well as making an untrue statement for the purposes of obtaining a passport and insurance. He also admitted possessing an identity document with improper intent. Judge Ewan Ambrose jailed him for 21 months. He made a deprivation order involving identity documents and all documents seized relating to the complainant Gareth Edward Barrett. A victim surcharge of £140 was imposed. So this guy stole someone's identity. Matthew Jackson, prosecuting, told Bristol Crown Court prior to 2016. Wow, that's, uh, that's over six years. Um, Barrett began using the complainant's details and claimed he was a former army officer, as well as claimed intelligence services. And, and this marries up to what we investigated, what we um, maybe uh, we could have helped with the police investigations on this one. Um, you know, all of the social media accounts where he was claiming he was uh, a former armor officer, um, you know, and saying that, he, he, you know, he, he'd 
joined, rejoined the army at one point. Claims to be a commander in the Royal Marines and trying to gain employment by posing as an ex-Royal Royal Marine. They are yanks on your profile, Stan. <laughs> Is that going to be a picture of him? No, surely yeah. not. It, yeah, it's definitely it, meant to be. Have you passed his mug around? A few contacts. He, he's not known, and you would think that <laughs> you would have thought that he would have he would have with that melon. <laughs> And there he is! Here's our man! A real, fa <laughs> real photograph um, of him serving in the Royal Marine. Uh, <laughs> That's like know. definitely, I can see us from 99 and that's like Windows fucking, <laughs> Windows 2000 at best. Mate, what are you talking about? That's real, surely. <laughs> I'm a trained bodyguard, bodyguard in the UK looking for work in the USA. I am ex special forces SAS trained in close protection hostel. Hostel. Tranid. Hostel. Hostel. <laughs> hostel that, like, that sounds like some fucking weird, weird European trip you might embark on as a, as a teenager at some point. Yeah. Hostel Tranid. It's, it's, it's not hostel. It's not like, I'm guessing he means close protection. Hostel. <laughs> hostel. Hostel. Close protection hostage train. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> but, um, oh, no, hang on, look, look. I'm a special ex forces SAS trained in close protection. Yeah, hostile. Host hostile trained. Hostile trained. Uh, hostage Come trained. on, if you don't know hostile trained, you must obviously not be SAS trained. And that, you know, he was um, claiming basically he was Agent 42, you know, Hitman. He was claiming that uh, he was an intelligent in the intelligence services, uh, and in fact, me and Justice found out. You know, as far as he'd gotten, was working as a supermarket security agent. <laughs> Dear, he worked in co-op. <laughs> so maybe this last one is actually true. Then maybe he's just done a bit of G four S security or something. This is security background, isn't it? Yeah, G four S. Uh, which are the, the, the they're the company that, that uh, run money around right in there in there they do all sorts like prison stuff I mean Charlie and that um Charlie's probably got some friends high up in G4S I mean, Theresa May's husband was uh the main dude there while she was prime minister yeah G4S do everything man money moving and prisoner care and running prisons and all sorts of shit but interesting looking just need... looking after members of the co-op food looking out for any shoplifters I was really worked in a <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> he was a co-op security guard <laughs> just when we was thinking oh you know what maybe we actually move some money around with that helmet on and stuff <laughs> Right, so we've got some oh. problems, but his, his experience is he, he, was, he, he hangs out in the wines, beers, and spirits aisle looking at the shoplifters. Um, mad. Uh, he gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Close protection, British Army. British Army. <laughs> Close protection. <laughs> looking after members of the public sector. <laughs> Like VIPs. <laughs> and members, and members, of of Parliament. <laughs> members of Parliament. Members of Parliament. Man, what oh, is Parliament? The complainant heard uh, about Barrett when he was shown a website styling itself as the Walter Mitty Hunters Club. And I'm sure that's probably the website that, that me and Justice showed um, when we investigated him as... Uh, King Greg's bodyguard. Mr. Jackson said the first direct impact came in June 2017 when the complainant received a demand for £379.40 from a debt collection services for a gym membership at Flix Fitness Academy. <laughs> no, man. Clearly wasn't... I mean, he, he had lost some weight over that you know year, I suppose, from him being this fake hitman bodyguard intelligence service guy to be in the king um but perhaps he should have hit up that gym a bit more often correspondence relating to that debt included an application form containing the complainant's date of birth and home address 
Oops. <laughs> Mate, you're not you're not you're not too clever, are you? Um the court heard that Barrett managed to obtain the complainant's military service records and use the complainant's details to obtain a passport. Yeah, he's got that far though, you know. Um he, and he managed to convince a lot of people. I mean, as ridiculous as it is, um, it, it's crazy that we need people like me to report on people like him. It's mad that there's people in this world that can't go, hang on a minute, man, you, you don't seem right. There's people that, that just believe that people like this, you know, um, and think, oh, what a lovely guy. Oh, yeah, and you're king. Oh, oh I'll, I'll be your supporter and your loyal subject. Are you kidding me? He used the complainant's details to make a false insurance statement, apply for a Barclays bank account, as well as to register at Nailsea Medical Centre. Bit weird to use someone else's details to uh, register at a medical centre um, for a start. The Barclays bank account bit as well. You know, he showed me a Barclays bank account card that had the name Patrick Kennedy on it. So if he's been jailed as Gareth Barrett, he didn't change his name. How did he get that? So. I reckon that there's perhaps some further identity theft and fraud here. Do they know about this? Um, I mean, that could even be the same red ink you're using to put those thumbprints in the private and confidential there you go. stamp. I'll prove you something. There you go. Okay, let's see. I mean, I, I'm, I'm interested to know. Oh, hang on. So let's not come up on the screen. Wait there. P. Kennedy. I mean, you can change your name by depot for, for a start. Um, I mean, it's interesting you've got that on a bank card. Uh, I don't know if you can apply to have uh, a different name on a bank card. No. But you've it's quite possible. It. You've got to prove I mean, it. when you're going through all of these lengths, um, it costs like 20 quid to change your name. I don't know I mean, about that. But all I know is I went into the, into the bank with my passport and that was it. Right. Do I need to contacts um the police and share more potential fraud here in further deceptions barrett used the defendant's details to get membership to the royal engineers association and the scouting association the scouts like cub scouts the thing that the children go what why would you use a stolen identity to join the scouting association what hang on a minute why wouldn't he just if he wanted to join the scouts and be like a scout leader which is it's not weird in itself like you know i think with him for some reason i think that that's weird but to use a fake identity to join the scout association what i mean what was his actual identity banned for some reason and i i just would not have him around my children or anyone i know's children and just it's just weird why why steal an identity and and and, and use that to join you know a medical center um, you know, I get the, the I kind of get the, you know, getting a passport, maybe a fake bank account. I, I can kind of see why someone might do that. I just don't understand joining the Royal Engineers Association and the Scouting Association. Uh, anyway, um, as well as obtaining a counterfeit driving license in the name of the complainant. Wow. The complainant made an impact statement stating, I found this whole ordeal deeply disturbing. The way in which the defendant has invasively sought to steal my identity, whilst openly displaying the results through various social media channels, has caused me untold concern. Uh, yeah, I I'm not surprised. And, and, and this guy, Gareth, did flaunt these, you know, these this fake identity online, like ma massively. Multiple accounts saying, you know, how he was an ex-soldier etc um as well as much more as you know
Um, and yeah, I feel sorry for the the victim in all this. I honestly just thought he was just just making it up. I didn't realise he'd stolen an ex soldier a soldier's identity to get that far. I just thought you know anyone can make up stuff online. I mean, look at the picture that he put on his accounts of him apparently being in the military. Um, it, it it's bad. Um, so you know. Why would you think? Why would I think that he'd actually stolen someone called Gareth Barrett's identity to do that? You know, he'd gone through all this, and then he's like, "Now nah, I'm Patrick Kennedy." <laughs> Didn't even stick with that. Did he steal some Patrick Kennedy's identity to continue his fairy tale stories? I I don't know. The comments, his comments. He also says he's the true king and is conning my friend out of money and telling her she's going to be a queen. Oh, your friend is the woman I know, the woman that <laughs> managed to get the um, arrest video from. <laughs> um, bless her heart. I say bless her heart, but then she's spreading this stuff around, you know, uh, sick stuff about me. So at the same time, I'm kind of like, you know, F that woman. Um, and she's, well, she needs help, to be fair. So search Gareth Barrett fraud on YouTube. Him exposed and arrested. It's hilarious. He's told my friend that he's going to get out of prison, pick her up in a helicopter and fly to America. He looks well cheesed off in his mugshot. <laughs> also, he said he was JFK's son. No one likes a Walt. Glad he was exposed. He was a big dreamer, saying he was this and that in the army, but he was a disgrace to tell lies. Full respect to all servicemen. He also says he's the true king, calling my friend out of money and telling her to be queen. Um, anyway, guys, that was why Gar that is why Gareth Barrett is uh, in jail. Uh, he's been jailed for twenty one months. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.